Hello, welcome all to Anudeep, your study buddy. In today's lecture series, we are going to discuss about how to score full marks in matrices. So, let's get started. Under the topic matrices, it is very much essential that you should be clear about the concept about the evaluation of determinant of order 2 by 2 and 3 by 3. Also, it is essential to know how to multiply the matrices, what is the compatibility of a matrix and then what is the basic formula to find the inverse of a matrix and what are the methods that will help you to find the inverse of a matrix such as adjoint method and the elementary row and column transformations. Under the heading of matrices in your board exam, you will be getting question of 1 mark, 2 mark, and 4 marks. So basically this chapter covers 6 to 8 marks from your board exam. Inverse of 2 by 2 matrix. So if you have been given 2 by 2 dimension matrix, how to evaluate? For that there is a direct formula that you can make use of. If A is a matrix with the element A, B, C and D, determinant of A is obtained by A, D minus B, C and A inverse is directly obtained by 1 upon determinant of A into determinant of A, D minus B minus C and A. That is what we are doing is simply interchanging the element of leading diagonal. So leading diagonal is A, D here. So interchanging their position will be giving you D, A and for the remaining elements you need to just simply attach the negative sign. Let us look at the problem on the screen. You have been given 2 by 2 ordered matrix with the elements 2, minus 3, 4 and 1. So determinant will be, it is determinant of A is 2 plus 12 that is 14. And to get a direct inverse of this matrix, the formula will be 1 upon determinant of A. You have to interchange the little diagonal element that is 2, 1 will be interchanged at 1 and 2. And for the remaining elements, you have to simply change their sign. So that is how we directly get the answer of A inverse as 1 by 14, 1, 3, minus 4 and 2. Now let us solve the second problem. Here A is a square matrix such that A square is equal to I that is identity matrix is given and you have to find what is the value of A inverse. So as we all know that A square can be written as A into A. So the first step will be we will be writing A into A is equal to I but we also know that A and A into A inverse is identity matrix. So we have got two equations 1 and 2 and from 1 and 2 because the right hand side is same, we can equate the left hand side and we get A inverse is equal to A. In this problem, you have been given the A 2 by 2 matrix A and you have been given the relation as A inverse is equal to lambda into adjoint of A. We need to evaluate what is the value of lambda. As we all know, A inverse is nothing but it is 1 upon determinant of A into adjoint of A. And the condition given in the problem is A inverse is equal to lambda into adjoint of A. Again, let us equate the equation 1 and 2. So we get lambda is equal to 1 upon determinant of A. We have given the elements of matrix A. We can evaluate its determinant and it comes out to be minus 6. So answer is lambda equal to 1 upon minus 6. The next question is very important. Many a times you will be asked to simplify the equation by the method of reduction. And for that purpose, we will be using the row transformation, elementary row transformation and we will be evaluating by reducing the elements in the matrix. So here as we have given the two equations, we can rewrite them in the matrix form as in the coefficient matrix, variable matrix and the matrix of constant. So first step is to rewrite the equation in the standard form in the matrices. So 2, 1, 3, 5 is the coefficient matrix x, y is the variable matrix and 5 minus 3 is a coefficient matrix. Next step is to reduce the elements in the coefficient matrix that is 2, 1, 3, 5 and by doing the elementary row transformation as you can see on the screen we have reduced the second row R2 by changing the element A22 equals to 0. So once you have reduced the elements next step is to rewrite the equation and simplify them. So after reduction we get the equation as minus 6 minus 4y equals to 8 and minus 7y equal to 21. So by the second equation we are directly getting the value of y that is minus 3 and by substituting the value of minus 3 in equation 1 we get the value of x as 4. So the value of 4 x and y are 4 and minus 3 respectively. This is how we evaluate 
the given equation by the reduction. In this question, you have been asked to find the inverse of a matrix which is of order 3 by 3 by elementary column transformation. When you want to find out the inverse of a matrix, it is mandatory to check if the given matrix is non-similar. So the first step is to evaluate the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix A and that comes out to be 1 which is not equal to 0. So that is the first step. Secondly, we will discuss about the formula as we know it is A inverse into A equals to I. This is what we will be rewriting first. Substituting the value of A and I we will be getting the value of A inverse by doing the number of column transformation. So our job is to reduce the matrix A into the identity matrix and perform the same column operation on the identity matrix on the left hand side. So by doing all these operation that you see on the screen reducing the elements of matrix A to the identity matrix we get A inverse equal to minus 2 0 1 7 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 1 1. Let us look at the next question where you have been asked to find the by the method of inversion you need to evaluate the given equations. So first of all we will convert the given equation into the standard matrix form by writing the coefficient matrix, variable matrix and the matrix of constant and we will denote them by Ax is equal to B form. A is a coefficient matrix, X is a variable matrix and B is a matrix of constant. Then by using the formula X is equal to A inverse into B, we will evaluate the equation finding out the values of a different variables involved in the variable matrix X, Y, Z. So first step is to get the inverse of matrix A. For that, we first of all identify whether it is a non-similar matrix. That is how we evaluate determinant of A that comes up to be minus 1. That says it is a non-singular matrix and A inverse exists. Now the next step is we are going to identify the inverse of a matrix where the inversion method will be using the adjoint method to find the inverse. So to calculate the elements in the adjoint matrix, first of all we have to get the cofactor matrix. This is what is the method shown on the screen and you can evaluate by using the formula that we have already discussed. Once you have obtained the adjoint of a matrix, you can use the formula for A inverse. Once you have obtained the value of A inverse, by substituting the value of A inverse into formula x is equal to A inverse into B, we can obtain the values of the elements in the variable matrix x, y, z as x is equal to 24, y equals to minus 4 and z is equal to minus 5. So in today's lecture series, we have discussed about different types of matrices, a problem that, may you come, that you may come across in your board exam. If you need help solving the problem in detail, I have given the links in the description box that you can check out for my earlier lecture where detailed information regarding the concepts and the method is explained to you. So see you very soon with another interesting topic. Thank you very much.